If you love watching TV, you can love it even more with your Solo 15 system. And you can have it set up in no time. Your Solo 15 system will fit directly under many TVs up to 50 inches, and we recommend putting it under your TV. If you can't, you can also place it on a flat surface, like a shelf or credenza. Once you've got it in place, you only need one connection to the TV. Next, we'll connect the speaker system to your TV. First, take a look at what outputs you have on your TV. You'll get the best performance using the optical output. A secondary choice is to use coax digital or analog connections. If your TV doesn't have any of these outputs, you can use the outputs of another device, such as a cable box, but the Solo system will only play audio from that device. You only need one type connection. Choose the one that works best for you. We'll use optical for this video. This is the optical cable that came with your Solo system. Make sure to remove the protective covers. Plug it into the back of the system. Use the notches on the side to line it up the right way. Insert it until you feel a click. Then plug it into the back of the TV. If you're using other types of cables, you make the connections the same way. First to the solo system, then to the TV. Next, plug this end of the power cord to the back of the system and the other end into a power outlet. You should hear a tone letting you know there's power. Make sure the batteries are in your Bose remote and turn on the solo system. The LED should light up. Then use your TV's remote and turn on the TV. You can control the volume with the remote. And this knob on the back lets you get the bass just the way you want it. You may need to turn down or turn off your TV's speakers. Your TV owner's guide can help with this. Then your work is done. Sit back and enjoy a little TV. To learn how to program your remote to control the TV and other devices, just visit youtube.com slash Bose.